All right, what is up, iNoob Universe? Uh, it's me, KB Chronic, once again. Couldn't figure out how to change that title. Um, but yeah, uh, we actually have a special episode today. It is Slayers or VX, whatever, um, whichever one you want to call it. It's his birthday today. The entire show is, was put together by VX. Um, so, of course, we have the typical rematch that we don't normally do, but, you know, I, I let it slide for birthday episodes. There's also a couple other things that normally don't happen, um, but birthday requests are birthday requests, and I, I, I grant requests. That's, that's all there is to it. Um, so, yeah, our opening contest, we have Patrick versus the odd duo of Dora the Destroyer and Tapu Khan. Uh, we somehow managed to dodge... Uh, Average Joe and Dora the Destroyer being on the same team, but I mean, we got Tapu Khan out here, and uh, I, I really feel for Patrick in this one. I don't, I don't say that very, very often. I don't, I don't really feel for the devil too, too often. But this is a, uh, this is not a good, not a good look for anyone that's involved in this match. Uh, not to mention handicap matches historically just don't go the way of the person by themselves. Uh, and then, following that, we have the camp, the mass saboteurs, versus the bunnies of destiny or destruction, whichever one you choose. Uh, because I was told that I could have any, I was given the option to uh, bring in whatever team I wanted to challenge for the tag titles. And that's what I did. I, I, I want to see the bunnies one more time. I know y'all want to see the bunnies one more time. Why not do a great birthday surprise and just show the bunnies in one more match? If they win the titles, so be it. If they don't, also so be it. It's just cool to see them. Uh, and then they brought Bad Bunny with them. We haven't seen her yet this season that I recall. Um, but she come in to make sure that uh, Prescott kind of stays in his corner over there. Which should help a little bit. But we'll, we'll see where that takes us. Then, we have a rematch from last week. Like I said, I don't normally do rematches, but I grant birthday wishes, and this one was for a rematch. We have Dan Smith versus VX um, in a Hell in a Cell. So, there were no road breaks before, not apparently for no reason, and now there's no road breaks now. So, we have Slayer or VX versus Dan Smith trying to get that Twitch championship back. The title is on the line. And then, this one I'm not too enthused about because I this is taking away one of my big matches from I Do Mania Five. However, um, it's 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 a solid match. It's a solid match. It was a birthday wish, and we're gonna get it in there. Queen Jolene putting up her title against Betty Blackwell for the I in look look at this look at this. Queen Jolene has been undefeated for almost a year. If she makes it to Ionu Mania, she will have held that title for a year. And the only person to ever come close to that level of title reign is her opponent today. So just let that sink in real deep. That's incredible. These are two of the best women that have ever graced INCW. Uh, along with, you know, Susan Reyes is up there. Uh, Jasmine was working on her stride, but she couldn't hold on to it long enough. But... Susan Ray's Betty Blackwell, and Queen Jolene are like the three top women that have ever crossed through INCW. So to have two of them in a match, just a random episode match, like a birthday episode match, is incredible. I love it. And then the match that breaks every single one of my rules, every one of them, we're surpassing the Victor Sokolov challenge. I'm coming out of retirement, which means Chet Lemon is going to be sitting in for me during the main event. I apologize ahead of time. I'm breaking all of my rules for the main event. We have myself, KB Chronic, versus Wise Man Shade, versus Info Warrior. If they find out he's here, we get kicked out of the country. Versus Kojo, versus Brawler Beckett, versus Victor Sokolov whose title is on the line in a heavyweight championship match. Now, hear me out here. I know I said I wouldn't come out of retirement. I said I was done. I said my match was like my days in the ring were over. It was getting to my head. I was treating the audience in terrible ways. It just it wasn't working out. However, 
as I've said multiple times throughout this episode so far, I grant birthday wishes, and this is a birthday episode. So, with that being said, I am going to go ahead and have one last match, hopefully. If people keep... I may have to just add a, a stipulation, but as of right now, I'm going to have one last match. Uh, if I come out with the title, I'm going to relinquish the title. Uh, we'll have like a tournament or something to fight for it, but I'm not going to hold a title in my company. That's just not going to happen. Um, but the camp got with me and kind of bullied me around, or tried to bully me. You can't, you can't bully me. You cannot. They tried to bully me into having some level of security for Sokolov in here because we all know George Prescott is the one who's been keeping that title around Sokolov's waist. I'm not selling Sokolov short, not by any stretch of the imagination. Um, <laughs> not by any of the stretch, not by any stretch of the imagination. Am I? Uh, discounting any strengths that Victor Sokolov has, but realistically, he should have lost that title at least twice, and Prescott has come in to make the save, whether it be through chair, distraction, whatever. He can't be in an elimination chamber, but they wanted one of their members in there to watch his back, and you know what? I can understand a group of people wanting to watch each other's backs, like when y'all are uh, like a collective family like that. Like, I'm, I'm going to be watching Shades back in there, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be watching mine. I don't know, because, I mean, there's still some heat from me taking the tag titles off of him. But hopefully we're past that. However, um, I decided to let Brawler Beckett in there, because I felt like if anyone should be in this match, it should be the NWC World Heavyweight Champion. And that's Brawler Beckett. He's also the champion of your mother. Um, he's also a Scottish lord, apparently. Um, he found out he's a lord, so that's cool. We hear he paid $50 for the little deed thing and become a lord, but I don't have any evidence of it, so he's just a lord. Um, but yeah, so we have all of that going on. My stipulation is Brawler Beckett has to enter at number one. Period. He gets to enter at number one, so that way he has to go through all of them. Victor Sokolov, being the champion, I'm allowing him to enter last. So numbers two... Three, four, and five, those entry numbers are random. It could be me entering at number two. It could be Info Warrior. It could be Shade. We could get Kojo versus Brawler Beckett at number two. Like that would be insane in and of itself. But we're going to have to wait for the main event. And uh, with all of that being said, and I've wasted plenty of everyone's time, we're going to get this show on the road. And once again, if I haven't said it already, I know I said it on Facebook, but if I haven't said it already in the stream, happy birthday, Devil Slayer. Also, if you don't feel like, for some reason, if you don't feel like typing out happy birthday, Devil Slayer, spam his emote. Wise man just spammed it. Well, a little bit. Spam that dude's emote. Get it in there. Da -da 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 -da. Roll it all through there. So, yeah, we have Dora the Destroyer and Tapu Khan, both vicious competitors against the devil. Keep in mind, this is not a... Uh, it, it, is it a... Oh, no. It's one on Tornado Tag. Holy crap. So, yeah, that means... Uh, oh, it is swaying back and forth. I like seeing that. The Devil, Patrick, formerly known as The Professional. Also another uh, another member of iNoob. Wow, that is... Man, it's, it's kind of skewed. I'm going to save... I am going to... Oh, I didn't mean to... Let's custom amount that. We will vote with... I'll send in 5,700. Oh, we got it swaying in the other direction. Uh, you can get... You know what? If we get enough subscribers, I will find a way to commission that robe. And you will be able to get that robe on any iNoob 
format, whether it be WordPress or whatever, there'll be a link somewhere to that robe as long as we can get enough subscribers. <laughs> Let's say, how, how many subscribers are we at right now? I don't, I don't have my eyes on the numbers themselves. How many subscribers are we at? If we get, uh, man, I don't know. What's a good number? 75, I mean, we got, if, I gotta say, like, if we had enough, uh, <laughs> door the destroyer with the intimidating entrance. So we have 11 subscribers. If we can get Let's say if we can get 25 subscribers before April. 25 subscribers before April. I'll commission, I'll find some robes. I will find a way to get some Patrick or the devil or whatever you want to call him. We're going to have some shiny ass robes for y'all to purchase. Get us to those 25 subscribers. Find 25 people that aren't using their Amazon Prime and send them over here. So we would be at what, 66 at that point? Oh man, that's really close. You know what, that's, oh, Patrick out the gate, but he wasn't paying attention to Tapu Khan. Oh, and again, Patrick, well, I got distracted by robes. Patrick is holding his own against Door of the Destroyer and Tapu Khan. Oh, and the numbers game. The, you got to remember, though, like, Tapu Khan and Dora the Destroyer are not part of an established team, so they don't necessarily have the teamwork that it's going to take to get this done. They will get in each other's way. It will happen. Those are two big individuals that uh, are just looking to beat the crap out of Patrick. All right. We, are, we actually lost people. I'm upset. Tapu Khan going for the pin here. And no, Patrick kicked out before it was even a one. Checked the kick. Was going for Door the Destroyer and then got caught with a power slam. Dora. Ooh, Dora running in for something. Patrick with the reversal. And a big suplex. German suplex. Goes for the pin here, does Dora. One, no. And a kick right to the face. I've been told that uh, alcohol is to thank for this match. Uh, it was a heavy influencer in deciding to have this match kick off. And Tapu Khan just laying in the elbows one right after the other. And over the top rope is Patrick. Tapu Khan taking his time to celebrate. I wouldn't do that yet. He's leaving Dora. Dora keeps getting checked by Patrick at every twist and turn. And Tapu Khan, oh, there's that miscommunication I was talking about. Dora just angrily swinging straight through both Tapu Khan and Patrick. It took Tapu Khan out of it. Now got the ground and pound. Good Lord. And it, he's not stopping. Oh, Patrick with a right hand breaking free. And once again, the miscommunication. Dora is just wanting to beat the hell out of the devil. Sponsored by Alcohol and Bad Decision. Yes. Yes, it is. Dora rolls back in the ring. Tapu Khan goes for the pin here. One. No. The repercussions. Oh! Patrick! Patrick is the size of Door of the Destroyer's leg and just threw him like a wet paper towel. Some teamwork by Door of the Destroyer and uh, Tapu Khan. Dora steps through. One suplex. She's fo or he's following the map. The three clues are discovered. No, that's Blue's clues. 
The locations? I don't know. Goes for the pin here. One, two, three. And that was just as short as expected. Uh, if you voted, let's see, Dora Khan has 8,000. Patrick had 1,000. Welcome to Suplex City. <laughs> Dora the Destroyer. Uh, those of you who didn't watch last week's episode, uh, Dora's, um, I'm not going to say tag team partner, um, because we can't do that here in INCW. Uh, or in on 2K19, if it was 2K20, we could totally do that. Um, but yeah, Dora's tag team partner, Boots, showed up. And uh, it's a very positive reaction. <laughs> like, I believe the phrase, Boots could get it, was uttered once or twice in the chat. <laughs> Boots could apparently get it twice on Sunday. I have just been handed a uh, piece of paper with how I was supposed to properly introduce uh, Brawler Beckett. So uh, allow me to go ahead and take some time to do that. Uh, he... The NWC World Champion, and your mother's champion, and a Scottish Lord, and the inaugural INCW King of the Ring, and PWA Grand Royal Champion, and better than all of you to, uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's Brawler Beckett. I, at the end of the piece of paper, it said I was supposed to say that when he was coming to the ring, um, but yeah, it, it didn't work out that way. I read it now, so now everyone knows. Boo! Apparently VX doesn't think either Dora or Tapu could get it done alone. Yes, uh, I said it earlier in the show whenever I was firing everything up. Um, being said, I, I was told that I could do whatever I wanted with the Tag Team Championship. Uh, the Tag Team titles were going to be on the line during this episode. I just I had no way of knowing who was going to be involved. And I figured, since I came out of retirement... That the bunnies should also get one more match. Okay, I, let me rephrase that. I didn't come out of retirement. I'm just in one more match, guys. So let's just go ahead and nip that in the bud now. But since we broke the rules with one match, why not break the rules with two matches? And now we have the bunnies going into another hand, uh, title match. It's it's gonna be great. We haven't seen we haven't seen the bunnies in two seasons, I think. They were the first inductees into the INCW Hall of Fame. They're also being accompanied to the ring by their manager uh, slash women's competitor, Bad Bunny, who has, since they last seen her, actually got wrestling attire. It's the Bunnies of Destruction or Destiny, whichever you so choose. Legends versus Masks. All right, everybody get your votes in. Who do you think is going to win this match? I have to go personally with my boys. And I am going to risk it all by putting 100k. I am voting 100k for the bunnies. That's how confident I am in, in my boys. The BOD chants have went wild. Once again, an INCW birthday episode is stealing the entire internet. That's a lie. We're not. Oh, we got Devil Slayer coming in on Patrick. If you were as much a devil as you say, uh, as you say you are, that match wouldn't have been a problem. Oh no! <laughs> we got all three bunnies making their way to the ring. Uh, if you are wondering, yes, Big Bunny and the Bunny are both uh, seven foot tall, uh, and as some would say, you can't teach that. <laughs> And yes, the bunnies are definitely worldwide. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. It is just good to see the bunnies in the ring again. Uh, the bunny, the the white one with blue eyes, is actually an INCW original. INCW, INCW original, the bunny, along with his tag team partner, Big Bunny, forming the bunnies of destiny or destruction, whichever you so choose. Going against one of their greatest rivals, the Mass Saboteurs. Um... George Prescott accompanying them to the ring. Okay, so if we spell that particular word too, too much, uh, we're actually going to end up summoning an individual to INCW that I want not here. So that I'd appreciate that. Good looking out. If we couldn't, if we didn't spell that word anymore. <laughs> Alright, we had to get some uh get some clarification there. My bad, my bad, my bad. Got quiet. But the mass saboteurs do not deserve any type of introduction for me because I don't like the camp. Well, except for this one guy in the camp. He's pretty cool. But uh we'll we'll, we'll worry about that at another date. Alright, that's what it's about. The Tag Team Championships. Big Bunny to your left. The Bunny to your right. And then the Mass Saboteurs, I still can't remember. Still can't remember which side, uh, like which one's which. BRG made a heel turn. The crazy part is, like, I foresee the saboteurs winning this match, even though I really want the bunnies to win it. All right, and here we go. Out the gate. Ooh, rake of the eyes. The bunny stealing a page out of the Saz playbook. Went for the big boot. Got kicked in the hamstring instead. Oh, the single leg takedown. It doesn't matter how tall you are. Whenever you have your legs removed from underneath you, take your vertical base away. You're the same size as everyone else. Bunny. Oh, the saboteurs have been on a roll here in INCW since threats like the bunnies have left. Um, or the warriors. Oh, the bunny launching the mass saboteur number two and then sweeps the leg himself, goes right after the knee. The bunny is really good at your joint manipulation, your chokes, your str your uh your different uh, grapple locks and whatnot, and then Big Bunny, the individual in the, on the other side of the ropes. He is a powerhouse. Got the bunny hole slam. It's a fan favorite. Right here, the mass saboteur focusing hard on those fingers, and then goes for the choke. The ref doing nothing about it. I guess it's hitting all that fur. VX funny, you're talking shit when you booked yourself in a match with someone you already beat. If if had a problem with me, then you should have fought me instead. Real bitch move there, buddy. But hey, there's always next Sunday. Oh my god. We are getting heat right here in the chat. Meanwhile, the saboteur 
getting his face grinded in. Steps through. Ooh! We've got a BRG heel turn. We've got a Ronin. Or we've got a professional and we've got a Slayer going back and forth. Oh, the camel clutch is applied and the ref actually saw the rope break this week. Stomps again on the lower back. Big Bunny down on the ground. Oh, stomp to the lower back again. Focusing pretty hard on it. Big Bunny. Has him in the corner. Oh, and launches the saboteur to the middle of the ring. Tags in the Bunny. And a shoulder tackle. Shoulder tackle takes the Bunny out of the scenario. And a big clothesline. The Bunny with the ground and pound. Got the full mount position and then just dropping those elbows. Good lord. The mass saboteur could not protect himself in that scenario. I'm waiting on Prescott to get involved. That's all I'm waiting on right now. The Bunny makes the tag to Big Bunny. Sends the saboteur off the rope. Drop to a hold. Into an elbow drop. Beautiful. Just fundamentally hot tag. Hot tag by the mass saboteur. And went for the double sledge and missed. Oh! Caught with a lariat. Lariat out of nowhere by Big Bunny. Got the deadlift. Power bomb. Down he goes. Goes for the pin. This could be it. One. No. Just a one count. Prescott sliding a chair into the ring like only he knows how. I know you couldn't see it off camera, but we all know what happened there. Oh, and in a big clothesline from the mass saboteur. Big Bunny trying to get back in into it. And an exploder suplex. Went for the right hand. Missed it. The mass saboteur has the bunny up. Carrying him ever so gingerly in a power slam. The bunny is all, or big bunny is all tied up in the ropes. Dragging him over to the corner. The other saboteur getting into position. Goes for the pin here. And a rope break. Good job, ref. Big clothesline into the corner. The mass saboteur is down. And an alley-oop bomb. Mass saboteur is up. Ooh! Just right hands. Chops, punches, double leg takedown. Right into a side mount. Goes for the hammer fists. Got him up. Ooh, headbutt from Big Bunny. He is staggered. The mass saboteur sends him into the ropes once again. Got the reversal. Big Bunny. Okay, so real quick, I just remember this. For everyone watching that has never seen an episode of INCW... Uh, every match is a two out of three falls match. Or every title match is a two out of three falls match. Oh, looked for that drop kick and missed all of it. So the mass saboteurs or the bunnies, whichever, each have to win two. Fa oh, the ref is down. The ref is down. Prescott is here. He can do whatever he wants. There's a flying bunny. All right, and here we go again. The rear naked choke applied. Big Bunny, or the Bunny, looking to put him to sleep, and the Mass Saboteur wisely fighting out of it. The Mass Saboteurs are wily veterans indeed. Has the hooks? Oh, went for the uh, went for a pile driver there. The Bunny reversed out of it soundly, going for a pile driver of his own. Got style pile driver. He's down. Goes for the pin here. One. Two. Oh, just a two. Just a two count. The Bunny sending the mass saboteur into the corner. He fights his way out. Goes for a right hand. Misses. He's kind of punch drunk right now. 
And again, he's sent back into enemy territory. V-Bunny tagging in Big Bunny once again. Ooh! Soul food. I, I guess it's called soul food. I don't know. There's a sole of his foot. See what I did there? Big Bunny, after assessing the situation, tags in the Bunny once again. Stiff forearm shot. Back and forth action. Double leg takedown with the side mount once again. Hammer fist. Looked like the Bunny was able to defend himself a little more, bit more competently that time. And here we go. The Bunny's in the corner. Mass Saboteur has him in the ropes. Ooh, and a big running European uppercut. Almost took his mask clean off. Sends the Bunny into the corner. And the Bunny with an elbow fighting his way back out of it. Again. Tags in. Going after the arm now. Big Bunny looking for any type of offense here. Now the Mass Saboteur looking for the same. Fighting back and forth. Oh, oh, snap dragon suplex with the pin. One, two. No, he kicked out. The Bunny made his way around trying to cut off the other Saboteur. Russian leg sweep reversal. The Saboteur's... As far as I remember, have not went for a pinfall yet. Oh, and a big headbutt. Big headbutt just puts Big Bunny down. Mass Saboteur taking time to gloat, to pander to the crowd, rather. Oh, big right hand. The Mass Saboteur is in a world of trouble here. Oh! Goes for the pin, but the rope break was imminent. Good Lord, the bunny is back in there, making sure that the mass saboteur sees his way out of the ring. The sh right, the hooks to the body. Oh, running neck breaker. Big bunny gets caught with a sweep. Mass saboteur surveying the damage. Making his way back around. Took some time to taunt the bunny. Kick to the midsection. We haven't had a single pinfall. No pinfalls in this match thus far. And it doesn't look like we're anywhere near getting one. Into the corner goes Big Bunny. Big Bunny with the reversal. Now send. And the ref is down once again. Goes for a right hand. Gets reversed. And again, just the reversals. Big Bunny once again launching the Bunny. And a jawbreaker. Last minute desperation move. Trying to make some space. Back and forth action with the bunnies. Oh, big wind-up elbow to the face. Got a hold of that foot again, and he's tying him up. The bunny has the mass saboteur up. Big bunny looking like he's on spaghetti legs in the corner there. And after an elbow like that to the knee, the bunny might be as well. The abdominal stretch. Pretty sure I said that wrong, but it's locked in. He's got the claw locked in. The bunny is on the mat. Trying to drag him away from the ropes. It's a long frame to get away from the ropes there. Goes for the pin. One, two, three. The Savs pick up the first pinfall. Big bunny is winded. He, he can't get in here again. The saboteur going for it again. Could they get the double? Could we see a submission right here? The sabs could get another pin. One. Two. Oh, Big Bunny dived over the other sab for the breakup. Gave B the Bunny long enough to get his, get his thoughts back about him. And a stomp to the elbow. 
Mass Saboteur fighting back valiantly. Never thought I'd say that about anybody in the camp, but that's personal opinion. The bunny dragging the saboteur. He got the full mount once again. Just laying in the hammer fist. Got his head free. Broke through that defense. Hit him a couple times with the elbow. And we got blood. We've got blood. You can't see it because of the red mask. But there it is there. And the arm bar is applied. Will the mass saboteur submit? Now he's going to roll through. Relieve some of that pressure. And then just repeatedly punch Big Bunny in the face. There we go. Oh, no. No, Prescott once again getting involved where he doesn't belong. Get him out of here. Get Prescott out of here. Not like this. Not like... That's a legend. No! The despicable just bastards known as the camp... Big Bunny, thankfully, in to break it up. I didn't want to see it in like that. The ref wisely ejecting Prescott from the arena. Get out of here, Prescott. The ref is, to quote Wise Man Shade, on that shit or on the shits or whatever. I, I, I quoted it wrong. Oh, Big Bunny, or The Bunny, ducked the clothesline. Caught a sleeper hold. Sleeper hold applied. Got the legs. Great fun. We can see a submission here. We can see a submission here. Will he tap? Will he go to sleep? V Bunny had it locked in, but he let go. He may have it just enough for a pinfall here. Tags in Big Bunny. What does Big Bunny have in mind? Goes for the pin. The other saboteur is nowhere to be seen. Two. Three. We are up one to one. And a jawbreaker. Jawbreaker by the mass saboteur. With their, with their manager, George Prescott. Ejected finally. From ringside. Oh, and a knee drop. Big Bunny. Lining up for it. Oh, he's got it. No! Reversal into an inverted DDT. The mass saboteur sends Big Bunny into the corner. Big Bunny fights his way out with an elbow. Goes for the kick. Misses it again. Big Bunny exploder suplex into the turnbuckle. Folded him up like an accordion. Now sending Big Bunny or sending the mass saboteur into enemy territory. It's the Bunny Stomp. We haven't seen anyone do this in a long ass time. The Bunny Stomp has commenced and the mass saboteurs are suffering for it. That is a seven-foot bunny. Two of them kicking you in the chest repeatedly. Goes for the pin here. One, two. Oh, they kicked out. The other mass saboteur got caught with a Luthez press. Oh, big, big elbow. The mass saboteur, he's by himself. Can he do it? He is the only one. The other one is down on the outside. Prescott has been ejected. The bunny. We can see a changing of the guard right here. This sequence, the, the, the going back and forth. Hell of an exchange right here by these two tag teams. We are tied up at 1-1 one to one with 42 minutes left in the match. We ain't got to worry about this going to time, I don't think. Kick to the back. The Bunny's back up in the clothesline to the outside. Clothesline to the outside by the Bunny. Do know that they can win, but they cannot win the titles by countout.
Oh, kick to the head of Bunny. Big single leg takedown. They are throwing down on the outside. Kick to the midsection. I don't know what we're at right here. We're at a count of five. At a count of six. The mass saboteur. Oh, Ruthez press. Busted the other saboteur open. At a count of eight. At a count of nine. We can see a count out. Was it, was it it? What are we at? Uh, why is he at a three? Four? What just happened there? Good. We, I know we saw a double count out. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> also in championship matches, you have a 20 count. It's been so long since I've had to worry about that. <laughs> oh, man. I thought something went wrong because that's happened plenty of times before here in INCW. Ooh, Roaster with the the knee bar and heel hook submission. Is he going to tap here? He's so far away from it. All he's got to do is kick his leg into the ropes. There's Mass Saboteur submitted. The Bunnies are your tag team champions. Oh, it's been a while since I've got to say that. Whew. Hell of a birthday episode already. Out of the gate, the bunnies come undone. <laughs> Just stood there while your buddy's getting his leg torn off. <laughs> oh, man. Hell of a match by both teams. Your winners and new INCW Tag Team Champions, the Bunnies of Destiny or Destruction, whichever you choose. Hell of a match. Damn good run by the Mass Saboteurs. Next up, we have the INCW. Yes, it did. It took legends to beat the camp. That it, I 100% agree with that. All right, but on to this match. Last week, Dan Smith vanquished VX and took the INCW title from him, or INCW Twitch title from him by nefarious means. At which point, um, you can go onto our Facebook page and also our Discord. Um, VX had some some choice words for Dan Smith. And beings that it was his birthday episode, he's challenging for the INCW Twitch Championship. Uh, beings that this is a Hell in a Cell match, and it was kind of last minute, uh, it will not be two out of three falls. It is one fall to a finish. If we need it to go further than that, then, then we will. But as of right now, it is one fall to a finish. Uh, best of luck to both of these guys. All right, we got to put our predictions in again. I believe that I'm going to drop. Um, I'm not going to tell anybody where I'm dropping my points. Just know that I'm dropping points. All 
All right, we got VX making his way down to the hell in a cell. I know you guys have been earning some points watching us. I know you guys have been tuning in every week, catching all the Wise Man Shade streams, my stream, all everything. Catching everything that goes through here. I know y'all been doing it. So, with that being said, y'all should dump your points. Get them points going in there. Also, we uh, if you click down on the credits thing, there is an INCW challenge going on. I'm not going to tell anybody what it is, but just know that a title will be on the line. If that reaches our goal of 100,000 points within the next four days or by the next episode of INCW, we will get... It will unlock a match. It's something we're doing throughout all of our streams to build some kind of like uh, viewership uh, participation, basically. So that way we can... Um, oh, what's it called? We can kind of move things in a direction. Uh, like move it in the direction of fan interaction, I suppose. Um... This challenge is pretty cool. I have some other ideas for the challenges. Um, but it, if this one doesn't work, like if this one's a flop, then we're just going to have to try something else. Um, but yeah, I really want y'all to get a little bit more involved. It gives you something to spend your points on. Oh, Wise Man Shade just contributed 2,000 points. You can only do a max of 2,000 points, which means we need a lot of participation. We need 50 people to participate. Um... So that loops back around to getting those subscribers. Because if you find those... You don't even have to subscribe. Just get people to come watch. Uh, we need... Uh, yeah, so it would be 50 people to vote. 2,000 to be able to get up to 100,000, I think. I don't know, man. Math is hard. It's not that hard, but still. Either way, we need a lot of people. So go get people to come in here. And then hopefully they subscribe. And then if we get 25 subscribers, I'll release a robe. And then y'all can buy the robe. And it'd be great. Well, so the only reason I didn't think it was 2K per stream is because I just tried to I just tried to contribute again and it wouldn't let me. Oh, there we go. It let me. Ha So yeah, we're there. We're, we're, we'll get there. All right, we got VX. He's hyped. He's ready to go. And then we got Dan Smith. Once again, two totally different uh, styles. Um, VX is more along the lines of the the strike, hit, move, fly. Um, and then Dan Smith is more the technical. I don't believe you've missed any shit talk. I, actually, it depends because uh, Pat, uh, the uh, I'm guessing the spokesperson for Patrick did call you out. All right, here we go. Oh, and they missed each other. Both of them out the gate with the quickness and missed, but the big Olympic slam right here. Already. Going back and forth with the flying elbows. Slayer. We're just going to call him Slayer. Slayer going after the arm. Doesn't want to get caught in any of those submissions again. Oh, Crucifix with the pin. One. No. So close. So close. Dan Smith has him locked up. Had a waist lock. Got the arm tied up now. And pulling away at the face, looking for that submission victory yet again. Slayer came in with strict guidelines to go directly after the Blackwells. He vanquished Jimmy Teller. He could work his way through all of them. Dan Smith ended up being involved inadvertently through random number draw. And has become somewhat of a bane of VX's existence. Or Slayer's existence. 
deep arm drag. Just the technical skill of a Dan Smith. One, no. He can get a hold of you from any angle. It He's just super good in the ring. It's, it, it's intense, to be quite honest. I'm glad he came along well after my time. There he goes, throwing him into the cage, it looked like. Or tried to. Big elbow to the gut. Ooh, and a knee. VX is in a world of hurt. There's no count outs, no rope breaks, no time limit. Just beating the hell out of each other in a cage. Ooh, back first. Into the oh my god, walking him around the ring, hitting him on anything, anything and everything, whether it be bolted down or not, and into the cage. Good lord, back and forth action here. Slayer slid back into the ring, goes for the pin. One, no. Kick to the midsection. Oh, got the double underhooks. Oh, Tiger Bomb. One, two, no. Dan Smith, slingshot to the center of the ring. Got the legs crossed. Oh, my God. Look at that submission he has applied right there. He made Slayer tap last week. Will he do it again this week? Will we see a repeat? No, not right now. Not today. Slayer get... Oh, with the roundhouse kick. Roundhouse kick. What's he going to follow it up with here? Has Smith up. Smith with the elbow. Elbow right to the face. Has a hold of him. Got the underhooks again. And a... Oh, into a backbreaker. Goes for the pin here. One, two, no. Kick to the back. Smith got that, uh, whatever lock that is, applied again. Deep, look at driving the knee into the lower back. And that's it. That's it. Slayer has tapped. Dan Smith wasn't letting go. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still INCW. Twitch champion Dan Smith making quick work of Slayer right there. Good Lord. Dan Smith is on a completely other level. Look at this. Tiger Bomb into a pin. Wisely into a pin, I might add. Doesn't quite get it. Gets kicked away. Goes in for the attack, but gets caught with a roundhouse kick. Dan Smith may end up being a contender in every singles format. Dan Smith, once again, celebrating with his title. With his Twitch championship. Man. Slayer's got a... It's got to be feeling pretty rough right there. One time can be considered a fluke. Two times, like it's at that point, it's in the books. Like it's 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 just one of those things, man. All right. And just like that, we are now on to our women's championship match. Betty Blackwell, over the last couple weeks, has been through a grueling best of seven series against Brittany Bennett, and she got the win. No matter what support team came out with Brittany, no matter, like, it all happened. It could have went to Brittany, but instead it went to Betty. Betty is in here. He's challenged. I've said this once. I'll say it again. 
two of the best women to ever cross through INCW. And that means a lot. It means a lot because the women are potentially the best competitors in INCW. So you arguably have the best of the best in this match right now. The best of the best. Better than the best. All of that. Right here in Queen Jolene and Betty Blackwell, as much as it pains me to admit it about Betty. The best of the best. the Better than the best. This That's just them. I cannot say that enough. I sound like a broken record. But that's there's no other words to describe it unless someone dictionary.com's this nonsense for me. Will Queen Jolene be able to topple the matriarch of the Blackwells? What is this? We have 25,000 on Betty Blackwell. Someone put 25,000 on Betty Blackwell. I will see your 25,000 and I'll raise you 75,000 on Queen Jolene. What 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 does what mean? Oh, the points. Um, so if you, I don't know, cause you're on a phone. If anybody's on a phone and knows how to do the voting for the predictions, uh, help out Jolene with that real quick, if you don't mind. There should be something on your screen somewhere that says predictions. When you hit predict. It'll allow you to spend points. There's a predict with custom amount, and then there's just a submit 10 or whatever. Uh, do a You can do it a custom amount, do 10, whatever. You get points by watching the stream. All right, so that's towards the challenge. I definitely appreciate that, but then there's also a prediction. Um, there should be something else. I just don't know where to get to it. Let's see. You click on points. It'll, it'll be called the Matriarch versus the Queen. And you should be able to vote there. And then once you vote, it shows who you voted for. Oh, it don't show who I voted for because I'm terrible. So what it should do is where you saw the INCW challenge, there should be another one right above it. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. All right, Betty Blackwell slinking over into the corner. Will the Queen's reign end here today? I can accept those terms of my loss. First time was a fluke. This time Dan Smith earned it fairly. I hope he continues to bring prestige to the Twitch title. Yes, I agree. While this is going on, I am also going to pull up Twitch on my phone to see if I can figure this out. Uh... Yeah, so on my screen, on my phone, it has this big purple line that says prediction started. And it'll say like predict with credits or whatever. Right, we got Betty Blackwell. We got Queen Jolene. Ah! 
stabbed myself with a nail. I'm sorry. All right. Oh, Queen Jolene flying out of the corner. Oh! She jumped over what could have been a terrible chop block. We all know... Uh... We all know that Betty Blackwell has developed going for the legs. Um, but that was a great exchange out the gate. Betty now has a hold of the much smaller opponent in Queen Jolene. But she has proven on multiple occasions size is not necessarily uh, the factor. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like this! Powerbomb onto the ring apron. Queen Jolene fighting her way out of it. She's spry. Has a hold of the arm and then leads Betty Blackwell around by it. Oh, and a kick. Kicking the leg right out from underneath her. There we go. Queen Jolene has her back in the ring. Queen Jolene also going to focus on the legs. Really looking to, to shut down any nonsense right here. Betty. Ooh, with a kick. Soccer ball level kicks with those boots. Has the queen down. The queen is down, but the queen is not out by a long shot. Ooh. Now just going to work further on those legs. God dang. It is looking bleak for the queen right now. The giant swing applied. Round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Betty just being her, her old monster self. Goes for the pin here. One. Two. No. Okay. Whew. It is two out of three falls. It is a championship match. Queen Jolene managed to kick out the last possible minute there. Stomp to the midsection. Oh my god. Oh my god. The the brutalization. Queen Jolene is in a bind. Oh, double knees to the back. The queen has come back from harder victory or harder fought victories than this. Got the kick. They ha they can't have the strength they normally have. Beings that they've been her legs have been worked on this entire match. Lined up. Oh, caught her with the hurricane run out the corner. Queen Jolene. Got the clothesline. Followed it up with another clothesline. Ducks under. And a super kick. Super kick to Betty. Queen Jolene going to the top rope. I don't know if I would advise against. I would advise this. It's not the best course of action right here. Queen Jolene. Oh! With the avalanche clam slam. Queen Jolene has her in the corner. Oh, she's going to her bread and butter. We haven't seen this in a minute. Queen Jolene up on the top. Oh, all the way outside. All the way to the mat goes Betty Blackwell. Queen Jolene firing on all cylinders. She is out of breath. She's beside herself. Oh, with the crossbody. Caught the crossbody. Oh my god. Kick to the midsection over and over again. Thank god we got a 20 count because they're going to be out here for a minute. Oh, block the chop. Betty uh, just squaring off with the knee. Big clothesline. Betty sent back into the ring. Uh, yeah, we actually started earlier today because it's uh, 
it's Elimination Chamber, and I, I really wanted to watch that pay-per-view for some ungodly reason. Betty Blackwell, you're still tuning in just in time to see some beast matches, though. One, two. Was that a two or a three? It was a two, because Betty is not happy about it. Betty spitting blood. Oh, kick to the midsection to the queen. Queen off the ropes. Oh, and a drop kick to the knee. Betty again. Queen Jolene with the reversal. Betty, why? I don't understand why someone so large goes after the knees of people who are much smaller than her. <laughs> like, it, against. Against Brittany, it made sense because they were about the same size. But this is getting... Oh, my God. That is... That is... Oh! That hurts my arm thinking about it. And again, Queen Jolene is just being contorted and broken. Her forearm has to be broken at this point. The queen. I hope she has something in her bag of tricks for this. Oh, she does. The reversal into a clothesline. Just beating down Betty Blackwell. And gets shot back across the ring with those powerful legs. Betty rolling through. Has the leg locked up. Ew. Knee to the mid or knee to the leg over and over again. Anyone who gets in a match with Betty Blackwell it, it is gonna need some severe therapy. Oh! Physical therapy after it's over with. Good lord. Goes for the pin here. One, two. Oh, the queen kicked out one more time. Betty lining up for something here. Oh, kicks again. I was told to call them something and it had to do with one, two. Oh, she got her shoulder up again. Betty is beside herself. Those same kicks took down the monster that is Brittany Bennett, but they are not putting down Queen Jolene. Oh, stomped on the forearm again. Oh, she was playing possum. Queen Jolene caught her with a Hurricane Rana. Or a head scissors takeover, rather. Snapmare. Betty is confused. Jolene's shaking her arms, trying to get feeling back in it again. Jolene surveying the damage. This would be a perfect time to go for a pin here. I suppose it's better than just running off the ropes repeatedly. <laughs> Betty crawling to the ropes, trying to get back to a vertical base here. The queen wasted valuable time. Maybe she wanted that to happen. Swings through with the around the world head scissors. Back to the top rope goes the queen. And a big elbow drop. Goes for the pin here. One. Two. No. Just a two count. The first pinfall attempt by Queen Jolene. Oh, and the rear view. The rear view applied. Big uppercut. Kick to the midsection. What is Betty going for here? Has her up. Oh. Oh, Queen Jolene rolled through. One. Two. Only a two count again. And again with the dragon screw going after the legs. We got 20 minutes left in this match. And the kick. Betty goes for another pin. One, two, no. Queen Jolene powered out of that one. She's getting a little bit more fight left in her. At this point, it's if she can survive the onslaught. Ooh, goes for the kicks again. Goes for the pin here. 
One, two, three. Betty picks up the first pinfall. Betty now has the first pinfall. She is on her way to being a champion again. Knee to the face. Oh, my God. Kicks to the back. To the face. Yes, all of that was just the first pinfall. Championship matches are like 30 minutes long, and that was the first pinfall. Queen Jolene fighting back. Oh, with a big chop and a forearm shot leveling Betty Blackwell. Queen Jolene. This could be a storied rivalry depending on how it goes. Sends Betty to the outside. Oh, and a kick to the knee again. You voted for hydrate and I don't have water. <laughs> I drank all of my water during the first like two matches. <laughs> Jolene fighting free. Oh, and again with the kick to the leg. I'm telling you, man. Referee to count of six, but they're both back in the ring. And Queen Jolene playing possum once again. Kicks to the legs. Good Lord. One, two, come on, kick out. Three, get the fuck out of here. Wow. Fucking wow. Oh, man. I'm I'm with everyone else. Loud boos. F in the chat. F in the chat. <laughs> I think we just found our new INCW t-shirt. Fuck Betty Blackwell indeed. It is time. <laughs> Trash is raining in the ring, but it doesn't matter because the uh the bullshit apocalypse is coming. It is time for the INCW Heavyweight Championship match. We have Wise Man Shade versus KB Chronic. That's me, so that means I'm about to have to leave. Versus Info Warrior. He's not even supposed to be in this country. Versus Victor Sokolov, your champion. Versus, let me get the piece of paper again. Here we go. Versus... The NWC World Champion, and your mother's champion, and a Scottish Lord, and the inaugural INCW King of the Ring, and PWA Grand Royal Rumble Champion, and better than all of you, Brawler Beckett. Bartholomew Brawler Beckett. I apologize. I'm probably going to say all that again. Uh, and then we also have Kojo. I forgot about Kojo. Kojo put on a hell of a match against uh, Victor Sokolov last week. Or no, not last week. Week before last. So good. Um, yes, there are only two options for predictions. Um, how about this for the predictions? New champ or nah? That way anybody can win. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, I actually have to go head out and get hydration and then get to the ring. Uh, Chet Lemon will be joining you very shortly to call this... He's about the suckiest thing about this match. But anyways, 
Uh, we will be right back. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is me, uh, Chet Lemon, back for your listening pleasure. Um, I have since con- survived my concussion uh, from KB the last time uh, we were both in the same room. Um, I appreciate all of the well wishes that every one of you sent me. Um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. It, 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 it really helped me get through a lot of the hard days. Um, there, there was, there was a lot of time where I couldn't even remember my right from my left. Um, that like the colors were distorted. My vision was trashed. He, he, he really, he really tried to take me out and I, I appreciate, I forgive him for it. I appreciate him allowing me to come back and, and grace all of you with the greatness that is Chet Lemon. Um, a, a, as for this match, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it probably more than anyone else. Um, it, I just need to say that KB is a real upstanding individual to allow the camp to have a two-on-four advantage in this match. And I know you may be saying to yourself, Chet Lemon, two-on-four advantage? The numbers just do not add up. Yes. Why, yes, they do. Because you have the camp. You have Viktor Sokolov. Viktor Sokolov is former Spetsnaz. He's been on nuclear subs. He is an incredible being. Then you have... uh, You have Brawler Beckett. He's a Scottish lord, for Christ's sake. A Scottish lord. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. He's also the champion of all of our mothers. He's the champion... Of, of the NWC, he's the champion. He he was he's a king. He's a king. He was never dethroned. I mean, and and, and who are their opponents? Who 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 does INCW offer as Chimridge or or, or as as uh, an offering of a sacrifice to the camp? Oh, who KB uh, a chair swinging Neanderthal? Uh, wise man shade. He can barely see over the top rope. Um, Info warrior, please. Why is that man not in prison? Uh, Kojo. Oh my goodness. Don't even get me started on the man with carbon fiber sunglasses. I mean, just it. It doesn't add up. The numbers are not there. There's no chairs around, so KB doesn't stand a chance. All I have to do is make one phone call and get InfoWarrior deported from Canada. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's simple mathematics, ladies and gentlemen. You have a team against four individuals that can't stand to be in the same room with one another. I, I don't understand. All right, and here we have Kojo. I, I tried to talk past all this. I tried to get past all this, but it is they're, they're too slow. They're too look at look at the size of Kojo. Uh, granted, I will say that Kojo is an athlete. He is uh, he's a solid athlete. However, Kojo also already lost. To Victor Sokolov. So what? What? What, what are we going to do here? Are, are we really going to entertain the idea that the camp comes out of here without a title? Well, as far as uh, my biased opinion goes, uh, hopefully everyone is just having a wonderful day. Um, it's a great Sunday. It, it's. I sincerely hope that every one of you have enjoyed this show. Um, if you haven't, well, I'm sorry. Look at that champion right there. Look at Victor Sokolov. Look at even his missing missing tooth is a perfect smile. It's the face of a savage warrior that has has no no business being in a ring, much less a cage with all of these peons. Huh. 
All right. Holding his championship proud, looking at all the the shriveling meat sacks that dare try to take that from him. He has the champion's advantage in this match as well. He will be number six. So he gets to watch everyone destroy one another. And then become part of the match. It'll, it'll be great. It'll be wonderful. If I remember correctly, the last INCW um, Elimination Chamber match involved a lot of groping that lasted for too, too long. Oh, and speak of the devil and he shall appear. Look at this. Look at this overweight, disgusting, redneck individual here. How could he ever, ever... Well, first of all, why would he allow himself to compete in his own ring for his own title? That in and of itself is just... It's low down. It's disgusting. He is the scum of the NWC. I, I've said I appreciate him letting me work here, but that's because I appreciate a paycheck. What do you what do you mean we don't get paid? I hate working here. We do, we don't get paid. I just found out we don't get paid. I figured since I was concussed, I forgot that I got a check, but apparently we don't get checks around here. This is what a Neanderthal. Look, he, even his brow line his brow line matches those of Cro-Magnon men that were dug up because they weren't smart enough to use fire to stay alive in the cold. Staring down the true champion, the only champion of INCW. Look, he even he even rigged the match. It is known. It is in the record books. It has been said multiple times across all sources of media. That KB Chronic has wanted to get his hands on Brawler Beckett. And then they're number one and two. They're the first two in the match. Please. If this wasn't rigged, I don't know what is. Look at this. NWC. Listen to these accolades. I know you've heard it twice already tonight, but you'll hear it again. NWC World Champion. Your Mother's Champion. A Scottish Lord inaugural incw king of the ring pwa grand rumble champion better than everyone else it is in his title that he's better than all of us just accept it that's all you have to do accept that brawler beckett is better than all of us that's why he's here sure you think oh we we pull one over on him. He's in the ring with KB. He's not going to stand a chance. Ha. Jokes. Jokes and clowns, all of you. And here we go. Brawler Beckett with a loaded fist. No, I lie. It's not loaded. We all know that. Brawler Beckett tried his darndest to take KB down and succeeded. Succeeded with the sling blade. Look at the relentless assault. Representing your mother proudly on his arm as he does. Look, look. What is... That's, that's not even a wrestling maneuver. Brawler Beckett is using sound wrestling tactics. And KB comes in with haymakers and elbow drops. That's... None of those are legal. This ref should be admonished for his lack of, of integrity. KB always wants to talk about how the ref is being paid off. What are we supposed to believe here? Look at Brawler Beckett. In just 10 seconds, we're going to get anyone else in the ring except for Victor Sokoloff because he is last. Because that's what champions do. They come in to face all of their challengers after they have set on the hill. They don't go in there first. Or maybe they do. Victor Sokoloff chose to get in the match. Oh, and Brawler Beckett. Dissension in the camp? Dissension in the camp, potentially? I don't... This... It, it's all here for show. That's all that is. It's, it's just for show. There's absolutely no way. And then... KB Chronic and Victor Sokolov... Both men. Both men. Victor Sokolov and Brawler Beckett are intelligent individuals. Uh, I mean, 
tactical military training of Viktor Sokolov along with... Look, see? He got... Oh, and then KB with a belly... He he thought he was just giving him a hug. He's an idiot. He's going for the pin already? How, how bad? How threatened are you by Viktor Sokolov to try to get him out of the ring almost immediately? Here, this is what we like to see. Oh, my goodness. And, of course, anytime the eye... Oh! Oh! Shade with a little shade to be thrown of his own. Look at this. He remembers the tag team match. And so does KB, apparently. Shade and KB head to head. Toe to toe, rather. Meanwhile, oh, with a Pele kick, but KB doesn't even fall. KB cannot be shaken. He's too stupid to fall down. Shade on the top rope. Meanwhile, Brawler... We're just gonna... We're going to allow the camp to just enjoy their... Oh my goodness! The death-defying, like, leap. And here comes Info Warrior into the ring. Goes for the pin on KB. Look, as his own brand turns against him... His own brand turns against him. His producer did a flying crossbody off the top rope to take him out. Off the top of the cage, rather, to take him out. And then one of his top champions, or former champions, comes in to take advantage of it and gets the pin. KB with a big right hand, just laying it in on, uh, on Info Warrior there. Look at this. Still nothing, nothing but punches, punches and, and, and minimal grapples. No wrestling technique whatsoever. Again, look at the dissension in INCW. Oh, pile driver onto Info Warrior. It couldn't have happened to a better person. One, two, no. Oh my goodness. I did not notice that Victor Sokoloff, the the man beast, had launched Brawler Beckett into the pod. Goes for the pin here. One, two, and Brawler Beckett is kicked out. Now Shade is over there. Info Warrior power bombing KB. Sends KB careening into the pod. And then a big discus clothesline. Kojo and Brawler Beckett, that is a match. You can't see Shade and Sokolov, but that's happening right now. Armbreaker into a Waki Katami, I believe, armbar. I think that's what it's called. Waki Atami, something along those lines. KB with the high knee. Brawler Beckett single-handedly destroying Kojo. Kojo has no accolades to live up to aside from a cool looking victory over kickstart kick to the face look look at shade look at shade just getting fed to the pod backbreaker brawler beckett thrown away shade is still just getting hammered into the pod info warrior down into an armbar onto kb kb wisely no Info Warrior holds on, and the arm is a the arm hold is applied. Victor Sokolov is just dribbling shade off of the pod. <laughs> that's all that's happening over there. KB almost taken out, and Kojo in to break everything up. Shade finally breaks free. Shade and Brawler Beckett going at it. Shade would love to think that he could beat Brawler Beckett, but there's absolutely no way it's going to happen. Info Warrior has eliminated KB. That was... That was a match. That was a match for KB. He was the first one in. He's the first one out. Kojo and Victor Sokolov fighting it out. And, oh, into the cage here. Br 
Brawler Beckett looking for a pinfall over Info Warrior. And over the top rope. Kojo with a neck breaker on the Brawler Beckett. One, two, no, 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 two, no, any of that here. Kojo has Info Warrior up on the top rope. Shade fighting free from Victor. Kojo has Info Warrior for superplex position. Ooh! Pele kick. Wonderful Pele kick. Shade talking all the trash to Brawler Beckett. The camp is still in this match. The camp is still in here, and I am proud. It is some of the greatest... Look at this. They started the match out goading everyone into thinking that they were going against one another. But because they're such great tacticians, they're great. Look at that. Look at Brawler Beckett. Knew exactly when to throw up his knees. Look at the Dominator on the outside by Victor Sokolov. Look at this. This is that training. This is that camp level mindset that absolutely no one in INCW is even... All right, guys, I really apologize for all that. That was, wait, Kojo lost? That sucks. Anyways, I'm back. No hard feelings to anybody who beat the shit out of me just now. Look at this. Um, Shut the fuck up. Get out of here, man. Anyways, um, yeah, we, we have ourselves a hell of a match right here. I really, I need... Beckett out of here. I didn't get to have I didn't get to beat the hell out of Beckett as much as I wanted to. That will happen again someday. Sokolov and Info Warrior. That's a we've seen that match plenty of times. I apologize. I don't ever. Alright, Shade has eliminated Brawler Beckett. We are down to Info Warrior, Victor Sokolov, and Wise Man Shade. Will Shade come out of here the champion? Like, if Info Warrior wins, that's happened before. If Sokolov wins, I mean, nothing changes. If Shade wins, though, what happens if Shade gets that win? Ooh! The Hokage of the Ainoob Village goes for the pin. One, two, three. We are down to Shade and Sokolov. Shade, how is he doing it running powerbomb on Sokolov? Shade with the power. The power of the Ainu village behind him. The hidden new village is strong with this one. Oh, and they fell for the knees again. Shade steps through. Kick to the leg. We saw Betty do some pretty damn good damage with that. Shade is not a fan of all the nonsense that happened to him not long ago. And by not long ago, I mean at the beginning of this match when I watched him get drilled into the side of that pod multiple times. Shade looking for that collar and elbow. Sokolov, oh no. Sokolov has the Dominator. Plant Shade. Goes for the pin here. One, two, and three. Just like that, there was a light at the end of the tunnel. And it turns out the light was just a freight train by the name of Victor Sokolov. Oh, my God. That was a good shot. That was a good shot of me right there. Big pile driver on the Info Warrior. Look at this. Look at Shade. That was probably my favorite part. I, I was getting my ass handed to me because I was distracted by watching that guy go through that pod. That was some funny shit right there. I couldn't... That felt terrible. Didn't like any of that. But man, let me tell you something. Watching... Watching Sokolov put Beckett through... Beckett is the champion of everyone's mother except for Sokolov. Like, Sokolov's mother is... She's got to be like a giant or something. Cause, or she is petite and he took offense. Alright, well... That was indeed one hell of a show. Once again, 
Happy birthday to you, Devil Slayer. I appreciate everybody coming in here and uh, enjoying the show. Uh, having fun with us. Having fun with me. Um, I, I have some things that I have to take care of to make sure that uh, Chet Lemon never comes back. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, have the, have a safe rest of y'all's day. If y'all have been living in the South, going through the winter that we've been going through, I would like to apologize for our cities not being prepared for this nonsense. Um, it's stupid. I know that we're better than this. We got to get it together. But we're powering through. I got to drive through town today with all my windows down in my car. Didn't even have to use my AC. It felt comfortable. It's getting good. Hopefully we don't freeze again. Because even though I love how it looks and I love hanging out in the snow, I hate, I hate not being able to take a shower. That is a gargantuan pet peeve. But anyways, until next week, where we will start at our regular time of 6 p.m. Central, so that way I can knock out some Nexamon before we get started. I'm KB Chronic, and as always, y'all have a good one.